Hello, my name is Stephen Menjez, and this is a special update from the Komodo Threat Intelligence Lab on the 2017 Brontok worm threat. Brontok, which is Indonesian for eagle, is a family of worm malware first discovered by Threat Intelligence Labs in 2005. The 2017 variant has been used in a wide-scale attack with huge numbers of continued detections in August in Russia and later in Canada. A mass mailer worm attacking Microsoft Windows devices, Brontok arrives with a spoofed address taken from infected computers, making it appear to be from a friend, colleague, or other acquaintance. At an organization's email endpoints, it appeared as an email with an unknown file attached and was let in by the many firms utilizing a default allow security posture for new unknown files. When the user downloads the attachment and executes it, the worm creates a new email message with a copy of itself attached and mails itself to one or more email addresses. Unlike a virus, Brontok is a self-contained program and does not need to attach itself to an executable file. They are executable programs, and they can also can become infected with viruses. Quiet, burrowing, and self-replicating, its impact is destructive and long-lasting as it passes from each computer or device it infects to every email endpoint listed in the infected user's address book and mailbox. Now let's analyze the attacks in more detail. This line diagram from the beginning of August shows the relative detection rate by malware type over a seven-day period. You can see a massive worm spike in yellow with significant worm activity happening then in Russia, India, Turkey, and Canada. This map chart from the same period indicates the most prolific malware type for each country. And you can see that worm in orange started to dominate in Russia and Canada in August. As with other worm malware, it is a program that duplicates itself from one computer, directory, drive, or network to another. Here you can see a diagram of 2017 worm family detections, with Brontok and Boondpill being the most prominent offenders. It is important to note that a worm's full impact is felt over time, as it burrows in and quietly replicates to other systems without protection against that worm variant, or without a default deny security posture which denies or contains all unknown files. This block chart shows Brontok detections by country, featuring countries with the highest ratio of Brontok infections. With many unprotected computers in a closely knit community, the Philippines joins Russia and other countries in being heavily attacked this month. Now let's dig into more detail on how it does its damage. When first run, it copies itself to a user's application data directory. It then sets itself to start up with Windows by creating an entry in the registry key. It disables the Windows registry editor, regedit.exe, and modifies Windows Explorer settings. It removes the option of folder options in the tools menu so that the hidden files, where it is concealed, are not easily accessible to the user. Brontok can also turn off the, William, the Windows firewall. User frustration occurs with Brontok in several ways. It can force a reboot, which triggers the replication sequence, and when an address is typed into the Windows Explorer window, it may be blanked out before completion. Emailing your friends and colleagues a piece of self-replicating worm malware is also an embarrassing consequence of not being protected from Brontok. When executed, Brontok creates several copies of itself in different directories in your Windows file system and tries to hide its executable nature by appearing as a system folder. It then edits registry keys to ensure that it will run after a system restart and to prevent its deletion. Brontok file types include .exe, .pif, and even .com. It also seeks to hinder the proper functioning of antivirus programs. The Brontok worm may also launch ping flood denial of service, or DOS attacks, in which the attacker takes down a victim's computer by overwhelming it with ICMP echo requests, which must be answered, thereby doubling the heavy traffic, potentially resulting in a denial of service to legitimate users. Brontok is also synonymous with political activism by hackers, or hacktivism due to the political and or religious message against immorality. Brontok was used to attack the Playboy and Israeli government sites in the past. The virus slash email itself contains a message in Indonesian and in some in English. When translated, it reads, stop the collapse in this country. Try the hoodlums, the smugglers, the bribers, the gamblers, and drugs. Stop free sex, abortion, and prostitution, and go to hell. Stop sea and river pollution, forest burning, and wild hunting. 
say no to drugs. The end is near. Finally, it asks the victim, do you think you're smart? Brontok can be removed by the latest updated antivirus software once the signature for the latest variant is uploaded, although by then it may have infected many others from the victim's email box. As one of the millions of unique unknown files detected by the lab each week, this 2017 Brontok worm variant was denied full system entry and was containerized and then analyzed by the Komodo Threat Intelligence Lab in a safe environment. The lab will continue to monitor this and other malware attacks and provide any relevant updates in upcoming weekly and special reports. If you would like to learn more about threats like this and the new Icarus dilapidated ransomware threat, please visit blog.komodo.com. Thank you for viewing this special report from the Komodo Threat Intelligence Lab, which monitors and analyzes malware attacks 24 by 7 by 365 around the world via millions of endpoints.